Most days I can barely leave my bed I remember my early stages of art. Um, proportions was something that I really struggled with. Um, so I went to YouTube. I watched a couple of YouTube videos uh, to kind of see how different artists tackle learning proportions. But it really wasn't until I went back to look at, you know, Leonardo's work, uh, specifically um, the proportions of man. Um, if you've never heard of that name, you may have heard, heard of the Vitruvian Man. Ideally, this is the same thing, uh, and it is basically this image right here. Ever since I was a kid, I've seen this image time and time again, never really knew what it was. Uh, so I think it's almost poetic that, you know, once I was ready to tackle proportions in art, um, this is what actually helped me or helped pave the way for me personally into learning and practicing proportions and just basically understanding how it all works in my head now. But yeah, um, just wanted to bring that up. If you guys want to know more about uh, the Vitruvian Man, there's a lot of information that I didn't want to include in this because it would make this video really long and today's video specifically is the final video to this Malekith piece that I've been working on. I know I took a break last week, uh, but this week I am now back and ready to kind of finish it. Um, we are gonna jump in here and finish this painting. So we started with a white canvas and now we are here. Um, this is essentially the stage where I just add some extra little details here and there. Um, and for the most part, it's details that pop. Right here, I was just adding some more light in the cracks. Um, I did a little touch up on the background. Um, and you might not be able to see it through the footage right now, but majority of the color that I'm using is color picked from what's already on the canvas. It's a... Uh, in my opinion, it's generally just a good practice to do that. Um, it's good practice to do that because it it kind of picks from the surrounding areas and it makes it more um, more merged, I guess, <laughs> or everything feels as if it's part of the picture. Um, the only exception would be like a color that wasn't really in the original palette so for this one I obviously went with um with a uh, brown and yellow or red and yellow um, and yeah right here I'm just adding a little bit of kind of grunge dirt on the claw because uh, initially I wanted to have that claw there I didn't know whether I wanted to put a body underneath or like or just a rock or like make it you know make it look like his claws kind of dug into um, dug into the ground right there but for the most part that's pretty much what I went with so I'm just adding some clump there to just add another dynamic um, I did plan on adding like a like a tarnished in the foreground like a like a, like a fighter in the foreground uh but ultimately uh i just decided not to because that was not part of the original composition and i feel like the angle that i would have used would have made it feel a little bit offset so i decided not to do that in the end Uh, right here again is just the final touches. I've already added some smoke to the bottom left there uh, It still feels too clean in my opinion. So I'm gonna probably Take some Inspiration here from Greg Frazier. Uh, those who don't know uh, Greg is the cinematographer behind the Batman um, and he kind of uh, Talked about a technique he used called dirtying up the frame um, as a way to just extend um, the feeling or the moment uh, to the person who's viewing or watching. So 
I decided to dirty it up a little bit, um, but I did that post, so, but the smoke kind of adds to it here. So we finally have the completed Malekith piece. Um, I went ahead and did some post editings in uh, Pixlr X, which is a web application uh, that you can use to kind of uh, edit photos. Um, it's, it's what I've used, I could have used Photoshop, uh, but they make it really uh, easy and fast for you to do. So go ahead and check out Pixel. I'll put the link in the comments. Uh, but ideally, it was like some little fine touches. Uh, the grain, the, the film grain was added using Pixel. Um, what you're looking at right now is the raw image uh, without the Pixel effects. And now you are looking at the completed piece with the Pixel uh, effects. I am happy with the way it turned out. Um, I went ahead and added some some con not contrast but some offset lines. Uh, if you look at you know Malekith's hair, you will notice that there's a there's a lot of scratchy lines, um, and that's because some at some point during the painting process, it just felt really neat. Um, it felt so neat, and this is something that worked well when I did Millennia, uh, but Millennia is kind of like a Millennia has a different vibe to her. Millennia is vicious, but flows. Um, but Malekith, it's just chaos. If you look at the bottom right and the top, sorry, the bottom left and the top right, you will notice that I dirtied up the frame a little bit. And this is a technique that I got from um, watching the the Batman. The Batman is a, a film by Matt Reeves, uh, and cinematographer uh, Greg Frazier uh, did something really interesting in that film. Um, I mean, he's not the first one to do it, but he, he went really heavy with that film um, in such an artistic way that kind of um, kind of puts you in there uh, in the moment. Um, there was a couple of things, a couple of ideas I wanted to do. The first one was I wanted to put someone on the foreground. I wanted to put like a like a tarnished um, on the foreground to kind of sh you know show the scale of how massive Malekith is to whoever um, he's going to be battling. Uh, but then I figured that adding that on the foreground would kind of um, we would kind of lose a lot of details And you can already see that we lost a lot of details on the left side of the picture with the sword um, You can still kind of see the, the the image of the sword there You can kind of see the the shape of the sword But we did lose a lot of detail that I spent some time on and I really didn't want to lose any more so I scrapped the idea for the foreground plus the angle for this doesn't really look like it would um it would favor that so i just decided to let that out or leave that out of the plan and just go with dirtying the frame um but other than that i am happy with the way it came out the lighting from the back looks really really good it lights everything up uh, we lose a lot of detail on kind of the cloth back there um, but it's no biggie it still looks really really good but besides that um Again, I'm really happy with how it looks here. Um, I could have gone with a different pose, but um, I just wanted to stick with this one. Uh, if you've watched the first video, then you know why I stuck to that one. Um, but besides that, uh, this is the Malekith piece. Uh, let me know how you. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I'm gonna s soon post it on my. Um, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram soon. Uh, so you'll, you'll be able to get like a, like a better image of it there. Uh, it's also up on my Patreon, so if you haven't taken a look at it, you can go to my Patreon. Uh, it is free for the year to kind of check that out. But other than that, again, uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking around for this whole Malekith piece for those who have. And um, give me some suggestions of, um, you know, what I could possibly tackle next. Uh, for the next video, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'll probably do some manga stuff. Uh, but of course I'll keep you all updated on my socials so thank you so much and you have a great day they were blinded.